In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to print Fibonacci numbers using list. So this is the simplest code, only 4 lines of code to print the Fibonacci number using list. So let's run and check the output first. So here you can see uh, total 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, it's a displaying. So here I have given the uh, range 7. So if I increase by uh, 15, so it will display total 15 Fibonacci numbers. So you can count this is total 15 and the number is starting from 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8 and continue on. So this is here. Let's give uh, there 6. So if I give so total 6 Fibonacci number, it's a uh, displaying. Okay. Now you can change. So let's give uh, one more and here check so you can check here this is the Fibonacci number it's a display now the next is I'm going to discuss this code to explain about this code so here the list you can identify if anything inside to this rectangular bracket this is the list okay so if you debug the code control comes to this first line here num that is initialized with list 0 1 so here this is is now 0 and 1 this is i am ending there because it or uh, there uh, more numbers that come the next uh, that comes to for loop and here i so i is the variable so this is here a uh, starting and this is the ending so this is the range and here uh, starting is 2 so 2 that go to i so i value is now 2 and here then after that comes to this point num and i minus here 1 so 2 minus 1 num 2 minus 1 that is 1 so here this position is now 1 or you can just write here num this position here i i value is now 2 so this 2 move on because here this is the starting so starting number is 2 so 2 that move to i i value is now 2 thereafter that comes to this point this there and here num equal to i minus 1 so i value is now 2 2 minus 1 that is 1 and here plus num i value is now 2 2 minus 2 that is 0 so num 1 position sorry 1 position is 1 and here 0 position is 0 so 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 0 position is 0 equal to here 1 so 1 that append to num so num value already is uh, 0 1 so again append means merge so one new value that merge 1 after that here after doing that that comes to again this point here the range that is start from 2 that increase by 1 so 2 become 3 so 3 is now i value is now 3 so then that go inside num so this term here num is now i value is now here 3 and 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 that is 2 and uh, plus num i value is now or 3 3 minus so here 2 that is 1 so this here on the 2 position 0 1 2 2 position here 1 and uh, plus num 1 position also 1 so 1 plus 1 this is here 2 so here 1 new number that add into the list 2 thereafter here range increase this is now 4 4 move to i so i value is now 4 
again that come inside so this time here num so here num is now 4 4 minus i this is 3 and 4 minus 2 this is num 4 minus 2 2 so 3 index 0 1 2 3 3 index 2 is there plus 2 index 0 1 2 1 is there so 2 plus 3 is 2 plus 1 that is 3 so 3 that merge or append into num so this there that come 3 next here after that control comes to this point this time here range increase so that become as 5 and 5 that move to i so i is now 5 thereafter here num this is 5 minus i that is 4 and uh, plus num or uh, 5 minus 2 that is 3 so num 4 position 0 1 2 3 4 4 position is 3 and num 3 position 0 1 2 3 3 position is 0 1 2 3 3 position is 2 so there are 5 5 that append into the list so here num value is now there 5 so this is num list then after that go up and this time here that is starting position that increase by 1 so this is 6 here 6 moves to i so i value is now 6 that again that comes to this point here num 6 minus 1 that is 5 plus num 6 minus 2 that is 4 so num 5 position 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 index 5 is there so this point 5 4 position 3 is there so 5 plus 3 that is 8 so 8 that append to num so this is here 8 after that then again that go to for loop here this is the starting position is now that becomes 7 and here this is here this is starting position and ending position both are same okay so when both are same then that out of the for loop control comes to this point this print and print the num so that print 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 so this is our answer and this is the way that program work so i hope guys you understand how's the program work and how we can do print of fibonacci number using list so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you